Have you ever added sodium hypochlorite to your biofloc tank, only to see it turn into a foamy mess within minutes? Like a bubble bath gone wrong? You're not the only one. Let's dive into what's really happening beneath the surface. And more importantly, how you can stop it. This foaming reaction after disinfection is common in biofloc systems. It might look harmless, but it's actually a sign of chemical and biological interactions happening inside your tank, mostly due to sodium hypochlorite reacting with the high organic load in the water. In biofloc systems, the water is full of organic matter. These are microscopic flocks made up of dead bacteria, leftover feed, shrimp waste, and other decaying material. They're good for the system under normal conditions. But when disinfectants like sodium hypochlorite are added, they trigger a powerful reaction. When sodium hypochlorite enters the tank, it doesn't just kill pathogens, it begins oxidizing the organic matter. This chemical reaction releases gases like nitrogen and carbon dioxide. And it also creates byproducts that behave like surfactants, compounds that reduce surface tension, and trap air as foam. Those surfactant-like byproducts are the real reason you see so much foam. They stabilize tiny air bubbles, keeping them from popping. As more bubbles form and get trapped, the foam thickens. The more organic waste present, the more foam you get, sometimes overflowing from the tank. So, how can you prevent this? The key is to reduce the organic load before you disinfect. One effective way is using a settling tank. When you transfer water into a settling tank, the heavier flock and waste sink to the bottom, you can then treat the clearer top water with sodium hypochlorite, which reduces the foam response dramatically. Another method is doing a partial water change to flush out some of the organic waste before adding chemicals. And finally, using a protein skimmer or surface foam remover can help eliminate any foam that forms after disinfection. Foaming after disinfection isn't just annoying, it's a sign of what's happening in your system. Use a settling tank, do water changes, or remove foam with a skimmer. And if you found this tip useful, don't forget to like, follow, and share for more aquaculture insights.